Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. In the last session, um, I ran through. That clicking is just this heat, heating water, by the way. Um, I ran through some changes I made to my base, and some. Um, check the glass back in. Some um, additions I'd made. Uh, we recovered my rocket from space. I need to close my helmet. Low pressure. Pressure critical. Okay. We had a storm. Had to rescue Amy. Well, I didn't really have to rescue Amy, but make sure he's coming back and shut the doors. Um, she's out mining again, which is good. She's doing quite a good job. Um, obviously, we built up. I'm slowly building up walls and airlocks. So I can isolate the whole, or pretty much the full interior of my base, so I don't have to run around with my suit closed all the time. Um, we'll cover that in a minute. Our um, furnace is still way over pressure. Uh, that was an error last time, and I'll go more on that in a moment. Yeah, no more changes around here, no more changes around here. We installed some bits on the landing pad. We enclosed all of this, except we haven't built the airlock yet. I do have some water ice in my backpack. So what I will start by doing is, yeah, I want to be out here. Dumping this into this refrigerated vending machine. So that is now in there, along with some coal. Yep, four lots of that, so that's 200 lots of water ice. And I know that this trader wants water ice. So sell to him water ice, he wants 232. Now I've got 200. Let's sell that. And we've now got 672. He doesn't really have anything I want to buy, so I'm going to tell him he can go. Let's just watch him take off. Yep, open away, and then you go bang, and he's gone. Watch this. Oof, gone. Now, why don't my rockets do that? I know I keep saying that, but it'd be so good if they did. I have rewired some. Oh, that's what I need to close as well. Let me just do that while I'm here. So I'm kind of looking around, just seeing if there's bits I missed from last time. Uh, I had this up so I could run some more cabling in because I wanted to duplicate this display down below. Logic Reader, Logic Writer, uh, I want to change that Logic Writer. Take that. And I want to make it a Batch Writer. Let's make sure I rotate it the right way. Like so. Ah, screwdriver. I've got a funny feeling I've left it in my fridge. Just go and have a look. How are we doing? Food and water. Food and water is okay. Um, oxygen is okay. Waste tanks okay. Oh, we've eventually used one of these filters. They lasted forever, those filters. Well worth the investment, the, re the heavy filters. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Thought I'd left it there. Okay. Let's head back up. Um, in our last video as well, I had to reprogram this chip because I... Shh, I hadn't set the mode on that vent and that vent. And just... If people know what I mean by the mode. Um, is that one? Powered vent. No. Active vent. There we go. Active vent. So these active vents have a mode. And if you read just here, it is mode, mode zero, outward, mode one, inward. And that relates to whether they're sucking the gas in or blowing the gas out. 
and we had that one inadvertently set to blow out because it was originally manually set and I hadn't programmed it to be um, in inward vent and that one was similar it was programmed but it wasn't programmed so I programmed it to be out so we then I had to change the coding on this just to add two lines of code to add the modes for both of those vents just to make one make sure one's in and one's out because I blew nearly all of my gas out of my greenhouse that's down to like 20 kilopascals we're back up to 70 but that's through me dropping some nitrice and oxygen in here uh, oxide sorry and also that vent and that sensor because the pressure's below 70 that sucks in uh, external atmosphere uh, but it's obviously cold so the temperature's down to 20 degrees and I've lost two of my cocoa bushes I've got enough seeds to replace them but I'll wait till the temperature's back up to around 30 before I do that that's flickering on and off because it's just warming the water I put another couple of blocks of ice into here um, we're now up to 43 litres um, and that's just making sure it's all heated how much is in there? 3 litres, not enough to worry about so now I've got my screwdriver, let me close that yeah it was a bit of a disaster last episode also I did have to do a reload um, the reason I'm putting um, cabling and a new display in down here is because I accidentally left my furnace uh, pulling gas in and that gas uh, got up to was just building the pressure and building the pressure and because this is in the sealed frame it didn't blow up thankfully but we hit about 504 megapascals so I'm now bleeding that gas off but I would have bleed off slowly through my um, sterling engine so I can recover some of the energy from it so I'm just putting another display in here linked to the one upstairs so when I'm down here and I'm messing around with this valve I can see what's going on of more media concern is the fact I've got no um, volatiles in here they all went in my furnace which means you're probably oh no you're going that means there must be a bit of pressure left in here how much is in here <sighs> well dropping there so I desperately need to get some volatiles in there ah oh, you know what I've not got I've not got no volatiles no no right, well okay first things first let me set this display then I'm gonna to have to actually go and physically mine some volatiles I haven't been mining and I don't know how long right you input I see housing output Ooh, output sterling engine no station battery no uh, logic reader no LED display small yes and I want a setting So why is that not? Have we got any of the LED displays? I do. Oh my go! Oh, darn it! Unless he's not running at all, which I think is highly unlikely. Yeah, he's kicking out 20 watts at the minute. That's not the issue. Okay. Let's um, have a bit of a play. I see housing, batch writer, back pressure, power control, active vent, transformer, small, sterling engine. Station battery, station battery, logic reader, LED small. It's definitely LED small. Um, no. Mode, non. Sterling, air uh, setting. That's what should be setting. Variable out. Input is sterling engine. Output is uh, power generation. Ah, it's only I see housing. It is a batch. It's a logic reader. There we go. Logic reader. I said logic reader. So 20.7. So that's outputting to the logic reader. Sorry, that's inputting from the logic reader, which is that. So, yeah, that's 20.8 watts. 
So that's that done. Let's make sure the bottom displays doing the same thing. One turned on. Yep, that's displaying as well, although it's not displaying the watts. So if I quickly open and close that, we've got 8 megawatts going, uh, sorry, 8 kilowatts being produced by the Stirling engine. And the pressure has jumped up to 16 megapascals. Um, that's come down a little bit. So we can vent a bit more out of here. Let's keep an eye on the display. When that gets around about 48. should do it. Let's bring the pressure down in here now down 106 megapascals and our Stirling engine's doing a grand job. Right. Okay. Where are we? Ice. I need to go and get some ice. Because I've got none in the system. Um. Unless I, unless I've got another idea, I can print utility, gas utility, print one of those, actually I'll print two of those because I'm probably going to need more than one, and then a canister, high pressure canister, a small canister. Whoa! Whoa, behave. Don't want that uh, getting all jittery on me and blowing up in my face. Pipes, I put some pipes somewhere. I've left them inside my base, I know I have. They're in here. There they are. Um, there for the moment. Oh, I've got my still got that one there, that's good. I only need one. Right, so if I if I what's the pressure in here? Yeah, ten point six. Take my spanner and my pipes. That's insulated pipes. Damn, damn. Two. Eh, and be enough. Right, try again. Uh, utility. So, uh, what to say the pressure was? 10. Where's my canister? Critical. Oh, crap, I just used the wrong tank. <laughs> right, um, well, I've just pulled that up. Right, uh, let me just get in there. There we go. Right, don't put down my jetpack. Um, um, um. Let's go. Oh. Let's 
Let's go outside. I can't jump, I can't fly in my jetpack because I've not got a jetpack on me. Let's go, just getting away from my base because I'm going to um, vent whichever one. What's that one full of? What are you full of? Yeah, that one. I still want that volatiles being released in my base. So there'll still be some volatiles in there, but it's minimal. And he can go back in my jetpack. There we go. And now that will just fill up with um atmosphere from Mars. There we go. Right, where's the other one I just had? That one. Right, before I make another silly mistake. Paint you red. And I want to do, 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 go out through here. Yeah. Can I get in? Yeah, 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 we can, yeah. Right, um, where's that red tank? There we go. So you see that's just come back on because I just put 10 megapascals of gas back in the system. Um, what am I after paint? Now if I think about this and take that off there, what's left in there? 95 kilopascals. And I bring you down and swap you with you and remove you. And I place it that way. I can now access access you from the inside. And I'm gonna to have to paint it red again. Right, so, and it goes out through the roof, but the mat still works. Do that a couple of times, and I'll guess how much gas, how much pressure did that put in the system? 74, so yeah, I need to do that a couple of times, just to get some pressure into... System. No, no need to do this because I know I've got volatiles in that tank. Five, that'll do for now. I'll just leave that in there. It's safe in there. Right. So we're down to 47 watts coming out the Stirling engine again. Let's whack that up, pressurise it again. And there we go. 8 megawatts. Kilowatts? Megawatts. Kilowatts. I wish it was megawatts. So, we've got this running. We're slowly draining that. We've got gas in the system. We've got enough to keep our um, centrifuge going. That's pressurised. Okay. Kind of back to where we were. Kind of. Almost. 
Now again, I don't need all this rubbish on me. Uh, where's that utility? Then we need to print that in the end. The batteries don't need to worry about them. Um, although, hmm, I have just had a interesting thought. Did I print a solicitor tracker? No. I'm looking for a power transmitter. Maybe I did like similar to to that. Maybe I didn't print the one. Anything in here? Hydroponics. Air conditioner. Generator. Logic switch. No. Okay. How are we doing temperature? 21 degrees. Slowly coming up. I can build a heater to stick it in there to bring the temperature up quicker. But I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Not to worry about at the moment. I'll just come up naturally. Um, you. There's a reason I'm doing this. So rather than keep changing this battery, what I'm going to do is... Paranoid now, but my gas in here. Um, I'm on that one. Now there's angle grinder. Stick him there. there, turn it on, and swap that battery out. This other little battery can just drop in here, oh it's a big battery, that's a big battery, no he can stay over here, I don't drop a little battery in there. Turn him off. Um, I've got a battery charger somewhere. There it is. That's a cable that was dropped. So now that will be permanently charged by that broadcasting power. I don't know how efficient that'll be. Probably it's not very efficient if I'm honest, but um, it'll do the trick. Just to show that you can do these things, you know, the portable device being constantly powered by someone connecting to my station electrical network. Yes, I could put an atmospheric units in there with a filtration system, but this is more fun. Right, that's working. That's really annoying. Click, 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 click. Shh. Shh. Thank you. Right. Let's exit the building. So Amy's obviously finished doing what she was doing. Mining were a centre. So it is time to go and find her a new spot. Let's head straight this way, see if we can find anything. 
Yeah, pretty much mined everything out around here. Um, bit of nitrice around here. A uh, bit of ferrite. That's iron. Oh, we've got more here though. Let's do the first bit and then we can always work further out. So let's say here, minus 8, minus 118. So it's X and Z. Minus 9, minus 118. Minus 9, minus 118. And just turn that off. Whoa, 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 whoa. What I want to do is... Um, I think you're empty, aren't you? Not far off it. Because Amy will find these holes, without a doubt, and get stuck in them. Minus nine, minus one, one eight, wasn't it? Minus nine, minus one, one eight, confirm. Let's make sure I haven't left that switch down. No, that's okay. Export and off we go. Oh, you are going good. You know, we sat there. Right, that's Amy sorted. New small lighting in here. That in my main base. How are we doing? 45, so quick. Squidge of that. 20 megapascals, you're up to 8k again. You're down to 45. going. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just going to quickly check the pressure again. 2.2, 2 2.65, that's okay. Right, uh, where were we? Now we've sorted all that crop out. You can vend a couple more of you into here. You can go away. Can you and you and you? Uh, boom. Um, because I put that tank into there, that was my jetpack. It's mixed O2, nitrogen, and CO2 into my tank. Now, this can take out O2 and nitrogen. How much CO2 is in there? 230 molten, nearly all CO2, isn't it? Oh, that's frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, 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 um. What can I do? What can I do? See how these little mistakes cost you so much. What I can do is get another atmospheric unit. Pipes. Uh, 
don't need all these frames on me. Or all the plastic. I'll dump that down there for the minute. I do need a CO2 filter. So, um, what's the first unit? Can I? Filtration. You know. Waste. Cabling, there we go. Um, and now I just need to quickly run you. Into here. Do it the right way. You're into there. Put CO2 filter in there. And now I'm going to need some insulated pipes. Okay. Get a graph display for later. Along with you, not you, you. I spend so much of my time in this game repairing stupid mistakes I make. <laughs> it's part of the fun of it, to be honest. Um, oh, you're the output. Filtered output. Okay, so actually, okay. Hydration critical. Do the cowling. This is a fairly quick fix for this one, it didn't take too long to do it, but it's just annoying. Just these things are annoying. At least next time I'll uh you know, it'll not be such a problem for me. So you can go in there. You can turn on. Although I'm not pumping that gas through yet, am I? Turn you on. Oh no 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. 
don't really want you on because you're going to be filtering it out. Do, 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 do. You know what? For the volumes we're talking about, it'll not matter. Turn you on. Battery's dead again. I keep leaving this bloody thing on. Where is it? Tell you what, let's give you a big battery. So you're on, you're on. So there is um, CO2, nitrogen, and O2 in that system. So 2's gone down, has the CO2 gone down? Yeah, CO2's going down, so I mean it's 0.07%, so it's not going to have any material effect on the uh, engine. Um, how are you doing? So I'm just going to turn this off. And drain this system down so I know that there's only volatiles left in here. Oh, so there's nothing left in here, sorry. And all go into here. Right, let's leave that to run for a few moments. And let's go and sort out our food and water. I'm closing that, it's a big bloody hole in the wall. <laughs> this has proved to be a bit more annoying than I was expecting. Console. So obviously not connect anything for the moment, but I've got it in there now. Um, food. Water. And then I'll quickly get a shower because I always complain about a shower again. And we're back in the game. Alright. Slowly getting there. Right. You're still alive, barely. 23 degrees in darkness. Yeah, it's all the temperature just about. So let's go still 100%. Yep, it worked perfectly. How are you doing? 81, 18. What we got in here? Yeah, the nitrous oxide's gone. There's a little bit of pollution, but nitrous oxide's gone.
First things first, let's get our rocket back in the air. Battery's 100%. We are charged to 50... No, I didn't open you, did I? No, it is charged to 50. Okay. Um, retract the umbilicals. Map. Let's set destination. Oh, be near, be near, be near, be near. What's this one? Water. Um, no, we don't want water. Silver. Gold. Iron. 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 Um, let's go and t to here and we finish exploring this because I've obviously I've, exp I've uh, done up here there's some down here I want to do I need to do the rest of that I need to do that and I've done this one, I can't read this one more actually lead fragments nickel lead, lead Silver. There's lots of silver and nickel and lead over there. Don't know what that is yet, but well, let's just work our way out. So let's finish exploring this one. So, gas tank 50k. Yeah, storage container off. Open to close. So close our container. Battery medium, battery medium, gas cap to rocket, logic scan everything off. Avionics are on. Engine on. And away we go. Not quite as quick as the planes, but hey, you know what? It still goes. <laughs> 